millennium here, often we don't realize the work that science has put in to understand how the universe works. Since ancient times, human, the human race has always wondered about the story night. What is out there? Are there others like us? What are we composed of? And how do we come into existence? These are the questions that curious humans have asked since the dawn of time and are still being asked today. However, could the work of the famous physicists of our time, such as Einstein and Hawking, all be to waste? If so, what, are they, what were they all working on for nearly a century? And why are there still people dedicating their whole lives to solving this puzzle? In this video, we will discuss the supposed theory of everything, otherwise known as string theory. Look around yourself. Everything from dust particles to heavy machinery is made up of matter. But what is matter made up of? Let's take a brass doorknob for example. It is made up of the compounds brass in this scenario, which is primarily made up of the elements copper and zinc. Even smaller than this, these elements are made up of the individual copper and zinc atoms. These atoms are made up of subatomic particles. In copper, for example, there are 29 protons, 29 electrons, and 29 neutrons, more or less depending on the charge. And for the most part, this was one of the smallest measures of matter that we know and have observed. We can't see anything smaller than this because light with higher frequencies is needed. We could do this, but frequencies would be so high that they would alter the particles. So how do we know what the particles look like? We know that they exist because if we look hard enough, we see blurry spheres of influence in atoms. The first solution to this was to say that every particle was a certain point in space. This was known as particle point theory. By doing this, physicists are able to calculate all possible interactions and possibilities with each of these point particles, and this was called quantum field theory. Qualities of these electrons have been tested to show inaccuracy to be down to 2 million of a billion percent. So obviously these were very um, accurate. But by treating these particles as points, um, we were also able to get a very clear idea of the universe. And in, to, in addition, we are also able to develop radical new technologies such as hadron therapy and maglev trains which have a very big influence in Japan in getting people to where they need to. However, in quantum mechanics, all physical forces are carried in particles, such as the force electromagnetism being carried in photons. This becomes a problem when factoring in gravity. According to Einstein, gravity is the warping of space-time itself, the field in which the point particles play on. You, as Kurzakot, um, put it nicely. Gravity is the stage and all the particles are the actors. You can't precisely measure the distances of the point particles in the, in the gravitational field as shown before. When they tried adding in gravity as a particle, at, such as graviton, the mathematical proof broke down completely. Find the relation to gravity to the equation and you have the theory of everything. So this is where string theory comes into play. It proposes the particles that are made up of strings, and different modes of these vibrations produce different particles, including gravity. The universe becomes an orchestra, as the famous Hawking describes. However, like the other theories mentioned there, are drawbacks. For example, string theory requires 10 dimensions rather than the 3 that we have in our universe. Consequently, Physicists tried to get rid of the other seven dimensions and apply it to our universe, but so far none have been successfully able to. So there is no tangible, hard, concrete, scientific proof that string theory is true. So there you have it. Through a long, arduous journey of history, some physics we have reached the conclusion that string theory has reached a dead end. But why are we still working on it today? Do we just neglect the work of many scientists that have contributed to this? Is it all a waste? It, no, there are still people that haven't given up hope because just as point particle opened up the horizons for string theory, string theory might be a step in the right direction.